This year has been very difficult. These are very difficult times. How have you been able to cope? Well, I've got some fantastic neighbours who are very great help and um, we do shopping for each other. And um, I communicate with my family online and I take my dogs out for a run on the beach every day. Well, I've been widowed for quite a long time, so I'm quite used to coping on my own. And I do have a lot of hobbies that I like doing, like reading, painting, and of course watching television. And I think in Britain particularly, it's very good because you have a lot of good television that you can watch. And you've also got Zoom. We, I connect with people on Zoom. I phone people up, and especially friends overseas, I think. That's very important for me. So on the whole, my life hasn't changed all that much, except I resent not being able to go out and go to a restaurant or something. It was, it's just been difficult living alone during lockdown, giving myself something to do each day helped me to cope and have a purpose. Phone calls to friends and family and sometimes a walk down the village. The youngsters, their jobs, the future, what it holds for them, I just don't know. It, it's pretty awful in the head. But on a practical level, it's fine. I miss this, I miss the church. I miss the singing. But it, it's, it's genuinely not a problem for me. My father-in-law always told me that life was never meant to be easy. There was always a challenge in life. You're sort of fighting, as it were, for something. And things certainly haven't changed. Um, we are confronted at the moment with many, many problems. Um, and they, these problems face all of us, regardless of age. Yes, these certainly are difficult times. A reading from St John's Gospel, first chapter. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God, all things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came for testimony to bear witness to the light, that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness to the light. The true light that enlightens every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him. Yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. It's normality. Whatever we used to do, uh, we'd like to start doing again, I think. Simple as that. For most of us, the most difficult thing about this year will be the way in which our contact with loved ones has been changed. Many of us haven't seen people for almost a year, people who would be very much part of our lives. And though the phone and FaceTime and Zoom and all these things really help, still we will miss their presence and the touch and the hug that would be part of our relationship. At first, I thought, you know, how are we going to do this? We've been new here, um, reaching out to people. Um, but I found that the community spirit, we could all sort of contact one another via phone. 
doing prescriptions and things like that. And I think there's been a real community spirit and a, a love for one another. So it's helped somehow. The, the hardest thing is not being with family and not being able to see family with them living back in Yorkshire. But, yeah, that's how we've coped. I, my coping strategy isn't really a strategy, I guess, because it's always the same. It just means that the way I cope with every day in my life is because we are right beside the sea and it's there that I feel the closest, quite obviously, to nature, but also to creation and creator God. And my inspiration really comes from the house, the home, but from the bay. And I love it in all its moods. So, yeah, I cope because we are able to be out there. We're so fortunate. And that's where I reflect, play, walk, run. So that, that's how. Well, it's been a terrible year for us. What with me having cancer-related lumps cut off my legs and Robert not very well and the death of my dear sister in July. And of course, the coronavirus. Robert's been a tower of strength to me at this time. You don't see anybody unless you go out. If I didn't have the dog, would I really go out? I don't know, I might just sit in, become just secluded by myself. That doesn't do any good for mental health either. You need to be out seeing people. The hope for me, I think, is quite clear. And we're well on the way to achieving that hope now with um, a choice of vaccines that seem to be effective. And my hope is that uh, there'll be plenty of vaccines available so that we can all um, be protected against this uh, COVID-19. And once we do have some protection, then it will free us up enormously to pursue what we would regard as a more normal life. Because life at the moment is certainly not normal, I think, for any of us. Well, I count myself very lucky, very fortunate, because I'm still fairly able. Um, I love walking with my little dog, who refused to come out with me today. <laughs> I tried to bring him up, but uh, he didn't fancy the, the weather. We're lucky. We've, uh, we've got a house, we've got a garden, and we've got a relatively quiet village. So we can get about our business quite nicely. We can keep fit, we can keep occupied. But travel restrictions are, are a bit of a negative. Well, when I feel a bit down and out, I think of others that isn't as well off as myself. And just thank God that we're coping. We cope as we have a farm. It's business as usual for us. So really, it's no different. We're working hard, and my husband and I, just to keep things going as usual. Um, the only thing is we don't see our grandchildren. And... Um, but it's business as usual for us. I try to take each day as it comes and enjoy each day and carry on as much as I can, as normal as I can. I'm able to get out and about and just, just marvel in creation. I have a good coping mechanism. I'm a keen, keen walker. I like to get out and about. Um, the first sort of period of lockdown through April and into May obviously was quite difficult because he couldn't travel a great lot. Um, I think I must have walked every public footpath between here and the houses, covered the beaches to the nth degree. But generally, I like to get out and about, exercise, I find really good. It, it clears your mind, gives your thought processes a really good air and out, yeah. I think one simply grits one's teeth and follows the rules. Life has always been full of rules and the rules have changed uh, quite markedly recently, which has compromised our lifestyle. We hope and pray 
that we'll all have a happy Christmas. It would be lovely to be with our loved ones again. And we are especially looking forward to Christmas as our great-grandchild hopefully will be born before Christmas. A new life in a new year. And we hope that this new year will bring peace and well-being to our world. <laughs>